Hey guys, thanks for stopping by New York's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer is the Cult 45 22 ounce bomber. This I don't want to say swill, but this is what I used to drink when I was underage and my skateboard crowd looking to get a quick buzz on. My palate has gone different since then. But there is a date on the bottle. It's September 3rd, 2018. I don't know if that's the best by date or the bottle on date. It's probably the best by date, so God. Uh, I don't know. We'll see about that one. So this is brewed from the National Brewing Company out of Baltimore, Maryland. Um, it was introduced in the spring of 1963 through a series of mergers and acquisitions. The National Brewing Company and its brands uh, are today owned by the Pabst Brewing Company. Okay, so it's owned by Pabst. Uh, previously, the only major national brand of malt liquor was Country Club. The label was designed with a kicking horse and a horseshoe. Uh, a reference to the extra kick compared to the thing. It's 5% alcohol, 5.6% alcohol by volume, which isn't really that high um, in my taste. Now, this is in a clear bottle, and I'm not sure how they brew their beers, uh, if they use light-resistant hops, but quite, oh, it's a twist-off. Okay, but it's smoky. I'm not sure if we get... No, I don't really smell any skunk. Now, guess what, guys? I got something cool coming up. Just... Uh, hang tight, alright? You ready? Watch this. Voila! Let there be light. I got a new one. Into the light, it pours very clear straw color. Very clear straw color. Uh, it has a nice, I want to say soapy white head, but the soap's sticking around. Um, lots of carbonation. It's a lot warmer than I wanted it to be. So, actually, on the nose, you get a little skunk. Kind of smells a little bit like a Corona but a little bit more maltier I would say almost has some reminiscence of the lager I did yesterday the Cigar City lager has those earthy tones you know those earthy hop notes that you get in the traditional German lagers although it does also have a little reminiscence of the European pale malt smell. Go for the taste. Right up front, very sweet malt forward. Now, this reminds me of almost like a bush light. with the taste. It starts off with that weird sweetness. Goes into like their adjunct and then uh, although there is barely any aftertaste. I don't even get maybe a little tad bitterness on the thing. But not a lot. Let's see what uh, Beer Advocate has to. <clears throat> Excuse me, grade it. Alright. So um, it says it's brewed in Cali. Right? All in the bottle it says. Hellman Brewing Company. So, Hellman
Why is my B not working? <laughs> Out of La Crosse, Wisconsin. LSE, by the way, for the airport code. Union made. Okay, so they... I'm guessing this company... I wonder what they have to do with this company. It looks more like a German kind of brewery than anything else. But, um... I'm pretty sure they probably have something to do with it. Because on the bottle it says Hellman, but on everything else it says Pabst. Um... It's 2.25 on beer advocate, which is poor. Um, rape beer gives it a... <laughs> zero overall and a 10 in the style. Now, here it says it's brewed for Pabst Brewing Company by the Miller Brewing Company out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I think I might go with that one, actually, because it says here, I'm in Brewing Company out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, uh, which is weird, because the Hyman Brewing Company says here, it's La Crosse, Wisconsin. So, I don't know, I'm getting a whole bunch of different things from different places. Um, but anyway, commercial description on this one is introduced in 1963 by the Baltimore, Maryland National Brewing Company. Okay, Colt 45 was named in honor of running back Jerry Hill, who was number 45 on the 1963 Baltimore Colts, Colts football team through high-profile partnership with actor Billy D. Williams and comedian Red Fox, who both appeared in radio, print, and TV advertisements. Colt 45 established itself as a, the premier malt liquor beverage by the early 1970s. It was also during this time that the iconic slogan, Works Every Time, became synonymous with the brand. The Williams relationship lasted for nearly four decades until he passed the torch to music mogul Snoop Dogg in 2010. With Snoop at the helm, we've entered an exciting new Colt 45 era. Alright, so more about the beer. Very... Very sweet. Well, no, it's like I said up front. Then comes the adjunct. Then comes the little little bitterness on the back end. I don't like it. The, I see those sweet light beers. I just I can't get into. It's like you're drinking sugar almost. You know. This is the big bottle, the big cult. But this is this this is the, but the we used to get this. Um, it would be in like a the liter bottles that you'd buy at the store. Um, not for me. It smells better than it tastes. It almost smells like the beer I had yesterday. And in fact, I think if I'm just going to have a beer, I think I'm going to have that beer instead. Because it's lighter, it tastes better. So I'm, I might pour this down the drain, actually. Because um, I really don't like it. And if I'm going to drink a lager, I'm going to drink one that I like. I'm not going to just drink it because I bought it. I bought this for the beer review. Um, and I gave my review, and I have a lot left, but... The money is for the review, not for me drinking the beer. So I'm probably just going to pour this down the drain and just um, pour myself a Cigar City Lager, which I actually did did like. Um, so yeah. Anyway, that's it for this review, guys. As always, if... Oh, my final grade out of 10, I'll probably give it the 3. <clears throat> not going for this one, like I said. Anyway, as always, if you like the reviews, please rate, comment, subscribe. Comment down below, let me know what you think. Yeah. Gosh, I'm dying over here. And as always, we'll see you next time on New York's Beer Reviews. Bye.